Minute rounds in the Cage Warriors lightweight division. Mehdi Ben Lachdar in the solid black trunks. Local boy Anthony O'Connor in the red with great trim. We are underway. O'Connor storming across the ring here to uh, put the pressure on straight from the start. Josh, we talked about it already on the broadcast, but what a main card we have coming up 9 p.m. at UK time. Check your local listings for Time and Channel internationally. Paddy Pimblett soaring back for the big gold belt. Pimblett looking to become a two-division Cage Warriors champion. Very nice crisp punches from Lakdar early there. Straight through the guard, nice and direct. Looking to stop O'Connor in his tracks there is Lakdar. Yeah, he's got good head movement here. Dancing around on the feet. He's got to, got to stay on his bike, though. O'Connor's trying to back him up a little bit. Yeah, look for good head movement for O'Connor as well. If you're a fighter growing up in Liverpool, you boxed for a while. <laughs> not to stereotype, of course. Absolutely not. <laughs> but it's happened, definitely, 100%. Lakdar throwing that jab from way down low. It's just going to make it that little bit easier for O'Connor to see coming. Looking very, very comfortable, though. Even though he's backed up against the cage, the Frenchman moving very well. Yeah, shakes off that kick from O'Connor. From the looks of things early on, Josh, his hands are fast enough to, to keep them holstered around his hips. Yeah, they, they could well be. I mean, O'Connor's much more traditional style here. Gloves are a little bit higher. You just feel like he's going to throw a bit tighter or, you know, with a bit more uh, kind of overhand prowess. There you go. And Lakdar's going to fire the shots in and get out again quickly if he can. He spoke to Lakdar earlier this week and he said this is an absolute dream come true for him. He's been dreaming so long for the opportunity to showcase himself on this platform where so many of his teammates have stood proud before. He wants to represent his gym here and he's very grateful for the opportunity to do so. And what a... What a turn up for the books it would be if he could come into O'Connor's hometown and make a statement against the Liverpool in Liverpool. Yeah, he may not get a nice reception from the crowd because of it, but uh, it would serve his career very well indeed. Good spinning combination from O'Connor, not really finding the mark though. Watch your fingers, Larry, watch your fingers. And you heard referee Rich Mutcher there just warning the fighters to watch his fingers. You cannot have your hands open when the hands are moving with a forward motion. You have to have closed fists. Just one of the alterations to the unified rules of mixed martial arts that has been brought in recently to go some way to alleviate the problem we have in this sport with the accidental eye pokes. Bob and Weave from O'Connor is doing a good job of keeping some of the worst of the punches from Lakdar off, but a few are finding their way through. A few of these short jabs, see a little bit of damage on the face of O'Connor. O'Connor looking to size his man up here. Nice level change. Can he get it on the hips? No, he can't. I mean, he timed the entry very well, but he, he never really changed level that, that much. You know, he was trying to drive with a bent back rather than getting underneath and really getting that penetration step all the way through. Oh, oh nice right shot. Claude O'Connor sweeping. Referee Rich Mitchell takes a close look and it's over. Josh, we talked about those fast, accurate hands. There they are. We talked about the potential upset, and there it is. <laughs> I mean, there it is. You know, as you say, the, the, the right hand caught him, and it was a nice, straight, direct shot. What did the real damage was his accuracy on the follow up when O'Connor was hurt. I mean, that was pinpoint, and really, Anthony O'Connor was going to struggle to recover uh, from that point. Let's take a look at the finish. So good left uppercut, screw shot, comes through the middle, and that right clicks over the top, and it was that one, that right hand and the second one as well. Those three punches subsequent to the initial damage were just perfect. Every single one landed, and, you know, that kind of accuracy uh, it does damage. Yeah, just on that sweet spot with the right hand was Ben Lakthar. Dropped the legs out from underneath O'Connor, and the durable O'Connor falling to strikes here in the first round. A very, very happy Mehdi Ben Lagdar. He said he's been waiting for this opportunity. Well, opportunity knocks. And the Frenchman answered. And we'll throw this one to Andy Friedlander in the cage. And he will make it official. Ladies. 
Referee Rich Mitchell has called a stop to this contest at three minutes and 21 seconds of round number one. Declaring the winner by TKO Medi Iron Ben Lachta. Well, the Iron Man, Medi Ben Lachta, moving to 3 0 with the first round stoppage. And Josh, we thought we might have an action packed prelim card on our hands tonight, and Ben Lachta certainly delivering the goods.